Right on. Okay, well here we are. Um, patios, grouting, and uh, we've laid a candela grey Indian sandstone patio with this linear drainage system. And uh, one of the biggest problems we have in the UK is uh, how we grout a patio. And for years I've been a bit of a traditional guy. I've been laying paving a long time now, and I'll always have used sand and cement. And uh, but I've tried this new product now, Easy Joint. And there's lots on the market. I've tried a few others, and I've used this one now. And uh, again, it's it's made life a lot easier. And uh, we've been able to come here today. We haven't had to bring sand and cement and go and purchase sand and cement. And uh, granted, we've had to buy the grout itself, but we haven't had to set the mixer up. We haven't been able to have to look for a plug or whatever. And uh, one of the other things is, of course, is that we're able to implement this procedure in inclement weather condition and um, that means we're going to get paid okay which is important and uh, it allows us to move on to the next project and the customers not waiting around and if you're laying paving in the winter and you are a traditional sand and cement person there are ways you can cover it up and uh, point but the fact is if you allow any water to get in between those joints in the winter conditions and you've got to get that freezing and thawing effect and uh, your slabs are going to delaminate from your laying bed okay so you know we've got it in fast it's a great color it's looking good and it's washed off nice it's uh i'm i'm pleased that i'm over the moon with it it's so important when you're using these products to bear in mind like easy joint they do come with um guidelines of instructions of how to install this product and uh you need to adhere to them because if you don't adhere to those guidelines they can't be held responsible for the mishaps that may transpire because you haven't followed those guidelines and uh, one of the most important guidelines is to follow that when you're using a brushing product such as easy joint you should be laying on a six to one bed okay six to one and you're going to say to yourself well that's not very strong but as long as the slab is fully supported okay and it adheres to that six to one it's absolutely fine but the re reason for the six to one is because it has a porosity value and for those of you without me sounding condescending a porosity value means it's going to soak up the water okay because with this product it allows the water to go through the joint and you need the water to disperse as quickly as possible if you were to lay a stronger bed underneath what's going to happen is that it's going to hold it's not going to get away quickly and when we're having inclement weather conditions as we do in the uk okay it doesn't bode well when the water's holding in place it's as simple as that it's not good for it at all so you need to disperse the water okay you'll have a thing called hydrostatic pressure where the water will hold up and just back up for a period of time and you're going to say to yourself well it hasn't rained for a couple of weeks but the thing is it's going to retain the moisture for some time if you use too much of a strong mix there's lots of things to take in consideration and i think by what i can see a lot of guys are using not this brushing product a lot of the brushing products on the market is because they haven't laid their paving correctly okay so we go back to the paving it's so important that when you're laying paving you use string lines and get your levels correct and yes laying indian sandstone is not always easy but you can rule out the problems by working to string lines so important when you're using this product as well is that a lot of the queries and questions that I see is where about brushing it off okay if you look at it there's a very minimal sediment on the surface at the moment is because we've used lots and lots and lots of water you can use as much as you like and it's always good to keep moving the grout around okay so don't let it sit in that position for too long okay and what we've done is that we've got on a light sprinkle and we've washed it off as we've gone along it doesn't affect the grout whatsoever you can use as much water as, as you want you need to look back at this video and look at every point that I make out to the other thing of course is your end joints when we look across here make sure you hold your hand on the end or trowels push down either with a striking joint with a joint and iron and make sure it's compacted on the edges okay because if it's not compacted okay what's going to happen is that it's going to 
uh, start decaying from the outside in. So you need to make sure that you have some integrity by making sure that's compacted. The colour's perfect. Comes in nice tubs. Nice little tub, nice easy to carry. They come in, I think it is a, I need my glasses on, but these are, Josh, if you can help me out with this. 12.5. 12.5 kilogram tubs. Okay, so nice and easy to handle. And on here, we have laid 23 square meters of paving, I believe, or just over, okay? And we've used seven tubs? Seven, yeah. Seven tubs, okay? It's great to review products because obviously, when I review this product, it, um, it allows other people in the industry to get my take on it, okay? And the more we talk about this, and I'm open to any comments that you guys uh, come back with it and, and your opinions, because those opinions can be addressed then, okay? We're not here to slate the product. We're not here to slate the sand and cement product. What we're doing is we've exposed and problem solved an issue that's been there for a long time with contractors. There's nothing worse when you're on a project and you want to get it done and you can't get paid. And I know what some of you guys are like, you don't take nothing on a job until it's all completed and you're waiting weeks and weeks and weeks and then you're chomping at the bit to get back at that project because you need to get appointed, you need to get paid, you need to put food on the table and you need to keep a roof over your head. So, I think I've covered about everything and uh, I'll be doing some more videos of this. I'll be posting along the social platform so you can go and have a look. You'll be able to see a lot of the comments on uh, Landscape Survival with Johnny Boy. It's a Facebook group out there for like-minded landscapers and uh, you'll be able to see everybody's opinion on there. So check that out on Facebook. It's a public group. You can go to my business, uh, which is www.greentoplandscapes.co.uk and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and see what we're doing. That's about it for now. We're able to get on to our next project. See you soon.